In this episode, we head south of Puerto Viejo to visit Playa Manzanillo, a popular beach for locals, where we were focused on exploring the remains of a ship that was intentionally beached off the Caribbean coast in 2017. According to reports, the Panamanian ship was taking on water and the captain decided to beach the vessel to avoid a maritime disaster. Come along as we visit this shipwreck and climb aboard to discover any clues about its history. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Now, let's get into the adventure. All right, we are finally heading out. It's been a long day of Escala Virtual and uh, I got a fresh Rasta dreadlock twist from the Caribe. So we're all fresh and ready to go. Where are we going, Kingston? Where do you want to go? The shipwreck. There's a shipwreck in Manzanillo. So it's a little bit after the uh, bottom of low tide, but I think we should still be good to go. But we're here at Punta Uva. It's a nice spot to check out. So we're gonna check that out first. See what's happening. Okay, all right, we just pulled up right now at Arecife Beach, which is the south uh, of uh, Playa Cocos and heading into Manzanillo. Uh, we heard this beach is one of the most amazing for snorkeling, so we're gonna come check it out, see if we can get some overhead shots to survey the area, and then see if we're gonna kick it for a minute. This Kingston really wants to get to Manzanillo for this barca. Mm -hmm. The sand is all turned up. touched down in Manzanillo Beach here um, in the south tip of the Costa Rican Caribbean Ocean. So the Caribbean is cracking as you can see. I got proof that I'm in Manzanillo right now. <laughs> Don't park in front of the sun. King Boy's got all the gear. I had to get the sign. <laughs> it, says, it says tourists don't park in front of the sign. <laughs> Okay, so what's so special about this beach, Kingston? It has the, like, the huge abandoned ship here that I, I hope you can go on. I don't know, but I want to go on it, see if we can, but yeah. A new beach, new beach, new beach, new day, new vibes. We got all the gear, we got about an hour and a half until sunset. Whoa! Different? You know what I, you know what I think of when I see that? Human waste. Yeah. Trash. Our trash. That's basically what I could think of. The worst possible beach cleanup day you can ever imagine. Okay guys, we're gonna rally everybody together. We're glad we have more volunteers than we've ever had. Uh, so we're gonna need everybody to grab a side and we're gonna take this boat right on out here. <laughs> Crazy boat. 
<laughs> you just fall in the water right there? Yeah, I, I, I want to go out in the water beyond there. Let's see. Wow. Super deep. I don't even know what this ship is called, but this is pretty tight. Hola. Hola, Gigi. Hola, Gigi. Whoa, what are the sounds? Oh! El agua es muy sucio! Oh, el aroma es muy mal! Wow, you like this beach? Yeah. Manzanillo oh. Beach, the Playa Manzanillo! Gigi Bug! How did she get in here? She didn't think she climbed through. <laughs> Climb through the hole. Oh. So, low tide uh, was about two and a half hours ago. So we are right at the cusp of watching the tide come up. High tide is just in a couple hours, but it's coming in with the vengeance, as you can see from the water line here, where the tide typically is. You can get out the other side. We got to jump or what? No. Okay. I don't want to fall through that either, be careful. Yeah, the other. Here you can go in. <laughs> Cervezas. Man, this is muy epica. This is not something you see every day. Quite cool, quite cool, cool find. The stern. I think she's going down, Captain. I think she's going down. Mayday! Mayday! What's in there? Nothing. It's just the echoes. Mayday! We're supposed to get some snorkeling in, but just checking it out. We got some pescado over here. Fishing on the side. I want to get up there now. He's doing it. Captain, we can't get into the door. What will we do? Open it, Captain. It's all last. Waves are coming. Sun is shining right now. It's a beautiful day. Going down there. Well, I said it goes down. Yeah, that would be super dangerous. <laughs> yeah. No idea what the current does in there. Huh? Are we going swimming or what? Yeah. Go. No. Yes! Boy, man! Boy, man, Gigi! Alright, so we just got this epic boat tour. At the epic boat tour, we're just do a little snorkeling. This isn't the best place to go snorkeling over here, but just getting ourselves wet is really the main excuse. We really ain't doing nothing. We just need a reason. We just need a reason to get wet, huh? sandy bottom over here we're not on the right part this is just over here to check out the ship that's in the water uh, but we're just gonna go try and catch some of these little waves and get on the bodyboard water is amazing and, uh, the views are beautiful spectacular wow. first thought traditional pressure
And the fact that it's just open so you can actually go get on it's kind of weird. It's kind of scary. Yeah, very dangerous. Let me put it in. It takes one picture every second versus 30 per second. Kids are doing their best to cooperate and contribute behind the scenes. Definitely a disproportionate amount of work that's being put in by mom and dad to make this production happen. <laughs> there we go, Kuya. That's where we go. Look how he's walking. Yeah, I, I asked him if he wanted to switch, but he just grabbed it. Espalda recta, mio. Espalda recta. Do the chafing walk. Do the chafing walk. The back, that's why the back is in the sky is why he's walking like Let me get it from the back. It looks like the duck walk. What is that random orange rock for? What's what? The random orange rock. Why? Because it doesn't match with the roster vibe? <laughs> what is it? That's what's up, Kingston. That's, I love that attitude. That's how we just laugh it off, right? Look at her. My mommy's ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. I know. We <laughs> almost ate it again. Yeah, what did I say? You almost ate it. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Free Range Squad. This was a highlight of our trip and Kingston was so excited to visit the Playa Manzanillo shipwreck. The most important detail to remember when visiting Playa Manzanillo is the tide schedule. It's ideal to go at low tide so the full hull of the ship is out of the water and easy to explore. I will also caution you that there are very few lifeguards in this area and the water and the currents can be incredibly rough. In addition, the ship has lots of rusty edges that you can easily cut yourself and become injured on. There aren't many people out there to help you, so always proceed with caution. With that being said, we had such an incredible time exploring all around the ship from the top to the bottom and even inside just to see what the remnants look like. Problems like this shipwreck are just a part of doing business in our modern day society. And although we had an incredible time exploring the ship, it stands as a constant reminder of the impact humans have in modern day society and the power of mother nature to be able to take the ship back and reduce it to its elements. So if you find yourself on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, I highly recommend visiting Playa Manzanillo. You won't regret it. But until our next adventure, Pura Vida. <laughs>